So if you've been around on this channel for a while, then hopefully by now you know that the only thing that comes close to my obsession with caffeine is stationery. <laughs> to school season. I'm going back to school tomorrow, which isn't a bad thing, but it's not necessarily a good thing either. I'm excited to see my friends, but we know the hours of homework and assessments and brain cells used by the six hours of the institution called school. So my coping mechanism might not particularly be healthy, but buying stationery is my chosen outlet. I mean, I could have turned to way worse outlets, so don't start on me. So a quick side note, I just want to let you know that I'm so sorry about the lack of uploading consistency. That was one of my New Year's resolutions and something I have always had in mind when uploading on this channel. So I've had a bit of a problem with my laptop and files and I explained in another video but that video hasn't been posted yet due to this issue. I booked an appointment with the Apple Genius Bar and I was told that the processor on my computer was not compatible with such large documents. They recommended that I sell my current computer and purchase a MacBook Pro. So in the interim, I've been trying to still edit on my MacBook Air. Now there is a video that I'm really proud of, I like the footage I got and I have a vision for the video so with the right editing I think it could be a really nice video. Sorry if it's a different angle, my camera just cut out so what I was saying was every time I go to edit the footage it is buffering and it's very choppy and I remember I was editing and I had this like visual process. I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the rough cut and then go in with some animation and polish it off. And I was watching the clips and they were just like buffering and knowing that I spent so much time actually filming the footage and the final step of production is so close but I can't do it. That was very disheartening. I remember looking at my computer and just crying. I don't know whether that's because I was on my menstrual cycle or whether the whole process and nothing actually eventuating was upsetting me. So long announcement over, let's get into the video. Oh, it's heavy. I don't like this already. So, this is my bag. I'm not going to hold this for very longer because it's already hurting my shoulders. I really like that this bag has a shoulder strap. A lot of the handbag style bags don't. Not particularly sure whether I would have purchased it if it didn't have a shoulder strap because I have other bags that are just top handles and they really kill my back. I'm going to do it how I did last year because I didn't want to lift up the bag the whole time. So in the first little section, I just have this cute little tissue case and tissues, um, self-explanatory, it's always great to be the person that has tissues on hand. I have a couple of paper clips, again, pretty self-explanatory, but these can really come in handy. And you know that specific teacher that hates it when you hand in assessments that are not stapled, paper clips. Okay, so I don't quite get my point here because if you put a paper clip on assessment, it's still unstapled. Then I have my USB, again an essential for any high school student. The next thing I have is my library card, but I'm not going to show you that because A, it's embarrassing and B, I don't want to expose myself or where I live. Then I have these Eclipse Mint. As I explained in another video, as an avid coffee drinker, these are pretty essential. So in this main compartment next to the little section I just spoke about, I would usually have all of my books. Now, I haven't completely finished contacting all of my books, so they're not here with me, but I will just show you my photography book as an example. Look, basic, it's a book. These are the books I'm using this year. As you can see, they're pretty thin. I actually realized that I don't need that many pages opposed to a lot of my classmates because I have really small writing. In fact, I would prefer if it was a little bit bigger, but I realized that last year I wasted so much paper by not even getting to like a quarter of all of my books. So hopefully this will work out well for me. If it doesn't, the worst thing that will happen is I'll have to purchase more small textbooks and I have a few of those, so I think it'll be fine. So these are the books I ordered for school this year. I didn't realize, but they say rose here. So I'm going to get like a book label and cover over it. Except it was really hard to find any decorative labels that looked remotely nice this year. 
I don't know what happened with that, but I found these gold foil ones, but they're only in certain stores. So I have to find those, stick them on, write the subject, write my name, good to go. And then I also bought a few of these like plastic sleeves. I'm as happy as you are that they're plastic, but my justification for this was it's a hard plastic so I can reuse it on my books next year and the year after because I always get A4 books and these are A4 sleeves and so then it's not really single use plastic if I'm going to reuse it. Then in the middle compartment I just have this little notebook. In this notebook I just take any random notes. I mean sometimes our teacher will give us a completely unrelated lecture and I'm like I need to remember some of that. I mean even sometimes when I hear a word I don't know I just write it down like go home and scour the dictionary that's so random but then i have my casio scientific calculator i don't know whether you remember but in my last what's in my school bag video i actually mentioned that i was looking for a pink scientific calculator i found it and i ordered it when it arrived it was a little bit more movey than i would have hoped but it's serving its purpose it's cute it's functional great covers all bases okay i'm sort of a massive nerd about these but this is a study card holder and inside we have pink study cards does that not excite you as much as it does to me so reasoning i bought these and i'm very happy about it i do not regret the purchase i wish this case was pastel pink but you know you win some you lose some i can use the index cards for debating for studying i love making studying flashcards I did that so much in year 7, then year 8. My primary source of revision was just written notes. But I want to get back into flashcards because that was fun. I mean, I did use a lot of Quizlet, which not sponsored, but I highly recommend Quizlet. It's like my studying savior. It makes studying so easy and actually enjoyable, which contrary to popular belief, studying can be enjoyable if you have the right stationery. But then I have this random pink notepad, which is sort of running short, but like this is only for people to borrow because I hate, with a passion, ripping pages out of my book, even though I did have binder books, so it wasn't like a problem, but I hate ripping out pages of my books. Then I have this mandala book. You never know when a panic attack is going to come on. So I think having this is really good for stress relief. I found that coloring is something that really soothes me and by no means am I a particularly artistic person. I'm very interested in art, but me actually doing it is another thing. But coloring, it just really calms me down. Highly recommend if you haven't tried this already. So the final thing I have in this little section is just this pink display folder. So right now it's empty, which is so nice because that means no assessment notifications, no homework, no unfinished work. I have put this little planner in there. I didn't use one of my big study planners because I highly doubt in the first week I'll have much homework to do, if any. So I'm just going to use that for the next couple of weeks until we get into assessment and exam season and then I'll use one of my actual study planners. I also keep any like permission notes or consent notes in here. I don't know why I just say permission and consent as if they're not the same thing. So in the final section, I would typically have my lunch box, but because I'm at home, I've had lunch at home, so there's no point of me showing you an empty lunch box and being like, imagine a salad. <laughs> I'll show my fully filled water bottle. I have had two bottles of water today, don't yell at me. I'm aiming for four, we've got two more to go, it's good. So this is my water bottle, love it dearly, it's pastel pink. I've had this on my wish list since 2017. Thank you, mommy. And then along with my lunchbox, I typically keep a reusable cutlery set. So this one just has a fork, a spoon, and chopsticks. So that definitely comes in handy. Also no knives, because I don't think you're allowed to bring knives to school. Like even plastic ones. I only went to cut my sweet potato. The first non-fitting thing, like it's literally everything else is pink. Ow, did you hear that? My hip just cracked. This has sanitary products, girls, you get it, you know what I mean? Very helpful to have. Probably TMI, but like I'm not always regular and you know, sometimes it happens, sometimes Aunt Flo just visits early um, or extends her welcome. And it's very helpful to have these. Also, it's good to have to look out for your fellow females. I would also typically keep deodorant in my bag. It's like over there and I don't wanna move because the lighting will reposition stuff. But I use the La Vanilla Laboratory Sport Deodorant. Basically, it doesn't contain any, I nearly said aluminum, aluminum, parabens, 
S-L-E-F. It's just basically free of all the crap you can find in normal deodorants. I highly recommend switching to a natural deodorant. I mean, they can be a lot more pricey, but your skin is your body's largest organ, so I think it's worthwhile to invest in it. So next thing I have is this little case. Now I just keep cosmetic products in here. I have a Dior lip gloss. I have this little compact mirror. It's just a cute heart shaped mirror and it's pink. Then I have hand sanitizer, which I'm running low on. So I have to refill that. I'm trying to find a lower waste alternative. Whether that means refilling that bottle, I don't know yet, but I'm searching. So if you have any suggestions, then please leave them below in the comments. Then I just have this lip balm. I hate having chapped lips with a passion and I exfoliate my lips. I have a full on routine. Always carry a chapstick and I love this one. It smells like coconut. It also has SPF, which is really good for summer. So then I just have these little hair bands. It's always helpful to have one of these on you. Trust me, the amount of times that my hair bands have just broken on me randomly for no apparent reason. Also, again, it's good to be the person that has them just in case someone else needs one. Then I just have my pencil case. I think I'll just do what I did last room and show you quickly what I have. So just essentials like a glue stick, Sharpie pacer and red pen. Just one of these pink Stabilo highlighters. So then I just have this liquid paper. Liquid paper. Liquid tape. Liquid. I have so many questions. I have minus two brain cells at the moment, but hopefully going back to school will, I don't know, do something up there. Then I also have this lilac highlighter, these Eiffel Tower scissors, a mini ruler, this is a mini highlighter. I'm going to do titles with a highlighter and then also go over them with like either felt tip or like a thin 0.5 millimeter pen. Then I have this crappy pen now, this is just for like people to borrow. I mean, I'm not giving them my Swarovski, I'm sorry. So then I just have this Swarovski pencil and two of my favorite pens. So I have my Swarovski one and also this one from Pilot that rubs out, but I need to find new ink for it. I put it somewhere now, I can't find it. So it's a bit redundant just having it sit in my pencil case. And in here, I just keep highlighters. And then in my Christmas video, I talked about these fine line textures that I really like. And I finally bought them after like wanting them from year three. I got them from Officeworks and I price matched them. So I got them for $4.75 and I waited for that for like, what, year three to year 10 for eight years. I could have bought these as a child. It wouldn't have even affected me monetarily. So the final thing I currently have in my bag is my planner from Kiki K. I have mentioned this before, but our school does give us a diary. So I'm going to use this but carry my school diary to like show people like i have a diary just for the sake of that but i'm going to actually use this in the last video i filmed i showed my monthly spread and then and then i have a weekly agenda there's a meeting section a to-do section everything you could ever want in a planner did i mention it's pastel pink so that's everything that i keep in my school bag i apologize if i was specifically annoying in this video caffeine can take up to 20 minutes to kick in and i've been filming for well over 20 minutes so if you gradually notice the shift in my personality throughout the video it's actually going to be a problem because like I film videos and I don't have my coffee and I'm like so calm, unnaturally calm. And then I have my coffee and I'm like, whoa, all these ideas. And it's like, wow, this world, like I never saw it, how I'm seeing it. Again, apologies. If you did enjoy this video, then please subscribe. I have a lot of other content that has been filmed and I need to edit it. So hopefully I will sort out the whole computer dilemma sooner rather than later. I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe so that you are notified when I do upload a video and hopefully I will see you on my next video.